I've uh, gone out on the doorstep, I'm talking to people, I've got a strong six point plan. You know, I'm a local champion and I think that I'm best, uh, the best person to represent this area. So I've been speaking to people and there's support out there for me. I can deliver locally and um, that's what I'm going to keep doing until 10 o'clock on Thursday night. One of the key issues here seems to be immigration. Would it have helped you if Mr Cameron had set out his plans on immigration ahead of this by-election? We know he's planning a big speech. Would you have liked him to have come forward with those measures ahead of this by-election? Well, I've been very clear locally about my six-point plan and what I want uh, done on immigration. And what I've said I want more action not just talking immigration. I've seen for myself the impact that it has had locally, the pressures on our schools. I've said I want to push David Cameron for more action. We've, we've already done some good work under this Conservative-led government, and that means people coming into this country now have to wait three months to claim benefits. I want that to go further. I want that increase to six months, and I'm going to push for more action on that. But aren't you playing to UKIP's agenda? Wouldn't you have been better off focusing on the economy? I'm a local person. I want to represent the people of Strood. The people of Rochester and Strood have told me that it is an issue for them, and I've seen it firsthand because I'm a, I've lived here all my life, that we do have pressures here, and I want that addressed. And that's what I've said in my six-point plan. But let's not remember, immigration is just one of my plan that I want to deliver for the local area. OK, why is immigration an issue? Because actually immigration in this constituency is below, below the national average. Well, as I've said, locally I have seen pressures on school places. I've seen local people having their wages driven down because of um, uh, EU, EU immigration. Because I want to represent the people of Rochester and Strews, and I am one of the people of Rochester and Strews, I believe I'll be a strong local champion for that. That is why I've said that I want to tackle that if I'm elected the MP on the 20th of November.